Let's keep it a hundred. I, I like to keep it a hundred. I get it. You understand know what I mean? I get what you're saying. Because I, don't. I see it all the time. I and I call Cap. Nah, Look, When my eyes call Cap, I nigga, it. I'm on my computer. I slap my mouse. <laughs> That's Cap. <laughs> you know why you're here. But you're telling me now. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Another day, another dollar. What's up with J4 Life TV? JP, hollering at you. Whew, got one hot off the press, people. Hot off the press. Fresh and Fit had DJ Academics and his brother Mike Rashid. I hope I said his name right. Rashid, Rashad, Rashid. Um, he's a fitness guy. And of course, everybody knows who DJ Academics. And uh, they had live show. And this portion, DJ Academics, is challenging Fresh about some of the things he says on the show because he is cuffed up with a young lady on this show today. So that's where it get a little exciting, and you got to continue to watch this. But before we spin this clip, I need you to go ahead, hit that little subscribe button, like button, and that notification bell. So we continue to get this, because I may have another part to this. This, video, this uh, stream was real long, so it's different parts in it. So I'll probably do a, uh, maybe one or two more. Because it was it was good. It was really good. Fresh Fit did a good job with this one. Um, and I think it's uh, probably one of the better ones I've seen of them. I really do. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and spin this clip. And, uh, guys, you got to watch this shit. This shit is epic. All right. Let's go. You met her on a yacht. In a very short time, you're like... I know for a fact she's with me for me. Explain. Okay. So you made some claims there just now, right? That were kind of uh, assumptions. And I understand because you don't watch the show all the time. <laughs> that being said, when I said that she's different from most girls, it's because she's not from Miami. She's from Philly, right? So if you know the game here in Miami, right? Most Miami girls are in a certain like bracket, in a certain like uh, environment, and they all kind of do like the same things. Hold on. That being said, if a girl's new to Miami, she's not really into that environment that well so so as a first timer in miami right she's not gonna be in certain circles where they get passed around or like you feel me like it's, it's kind of like a environment where things happen all the time and like have, follow like a certain pattern Can that I being said that being said new to miami hold on. mean though huh what does new to miami mean because she was born in jersey she's a side here for school yeah. right is is everybody here born in miami i am I'm you're born in miami yeah born and raised you're, you're born and raised yeah. okay mm. but she's not so, right. so if someone moves here, uh -huh. they're different. I'm saying at the beginning, they're not kind of like tainted by the Miami lifestyle. Because mm -hmm. Miami is very like, I want to say good and bad at the same time. Because like, in the environment, it makes you turn a certain way. Either by the partying, the people you're Keep around. To the streets. And most girls that would have been good girls <laughs> come to Miami, turn to the streets. Here's what it is. So they turn home. That being said, if you meet a girl for the first time and she's in this environment and she's not a part of this, this whole cycle, you kind of got a chance because at the beginning, she only knows you. But she means other players in the game where it's like, oh, like this is where I'm at. I can see all these guys. Then she's kind of saying, like, you know what? I got many options. Fuck this nigga. I'm going to just do what I got to do and get what I want. That that being said, right? I invited her That's on the yacht. Line, that being said, I love it. No, no. <laughs> I invited her on the yacht, right? For a purpose to meet and talk to her. So the first time you met her, you invited her on the yacht. 100%. <laughs> and you left the yacht by saying, she's, she fucks with me for me. No, no, no. This is. See, I can see where DJ Academics is going with this. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to understand how Fresh kind of sounds like he's catching little feelings for this chick. And I don't, I don't want to let it go too far, but, you know, I know some of y'all fans crazy about him, but we're just going to entertain it for a minute. All right, so don't come beating down on me. Oh, they rough this, 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 this. I, I got that. But what I'm trying to say now is, we always had this thing called the exception to the rule. And it seems like he's making her an exception to the rule. And she's not. Because, and we'll get to that. All right, so let's hit it on. Let's get it on. After a period of time where, like, I saw certain things. I saw what she's about, where she came from. I was like, okay, cool. I Dude, think about this, right? I've seen multiple chicks come to Miami all the time get into a certain environment, and then they change completely. However, when they first come to Miami, they're not always into that environment where they, they make that change. 
Okay. So, 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 so what happens is that girls come to Miami, right? They meet some friends, they go out, they meet promoters, they meet celebrities, and then they're for the street. And then she gone. And then she gone. Yo, 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 Myron. And then, no, 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 no. Myron, 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 Myron dying no, laughing finish. over there. Let me, let me finish. Mm. So I've experienced. I'm eating my live after. Dating, <laughs> more, mm-hmm. no, dating multiple Balls. girls. Mm-hmm. Some from Miami, some from outside of Miami, France, Germany, wherever, right? So I've seen the cycle here. Now, that being said, when I met her, I saw she didn't, hadn't been tainted yet. She hadn't been like in certain circles where, like, you know what? Damn, she's gone through the streets. Mm-hmm. So I want to see she's where her head was at. And we meet on certain levels, we vibe. And regarding my vlog, she adds value to my vlogs. So, so you know what? I want to get to know her a little bit better. We're just vibing right now. Okay. So your whole argument of, oh, I'm going to be finessed by this no. chick. No, 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 no. I didn't say you that. Can't fin- okay. I didn't say that. Okay. I want, I want to make certain claims. Mm-hmm. So I, I, feel like, I feel like you're a little bit exposing yourself. How? Because the way you talk about women, especially because you're in Miami, mm-hmm. you just proved that saying that if she's here and she's new, those rules don't apply. You don't talk to just a Miami audience. You talk to an audience that's literally all around the world. Mm-hmm. So you're pretty much telling your audience, everything I tell you doesn't apply to y'all because you're not in Miami. Mm-hmm. I thought you were giving universal rules. That's hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're hold talking on. about her I got right you. Now. No, no, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I'm, I'm talking about how you are saying she doesn't apply to many things that you would say about the normal girl. No, no, it can't have no sight. I'm just saying that. Like- and see, and, that, and that's my thing right there. Like you say, he's trying to say she stands out from all the other girls but i don't see to me she's playing it smart and she's playing that uh oh i don't know role and you will see this coming up but i think she he's he's i don't know i don't know he, he's I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. I'll let him finish. Let's 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 spin this thing. Hey, second and, of all, uh-huh. I do want to ask a question. And by the way, mm-hmm. the chat's gonna be the jury. Okay. You said you know, number one, she was here for a short amount of time and she wasn't tainted, quote unquote. And you you know you have done the checks and balances to make sure she's not gonna be that. Could you at least tell the jury how long you've known her? One month. <laughs> Okay, okay, just, just okay. So in a month. Oh man, so uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I wouldn't have brought her on here, and uh, I don't know yet. A month later, you have figured out that she isn't what. Every other girl in Miami is. Look, you're taking it as in like, yo, I'm about a wife. Like, it's only like, Myron. only girl is like, yo, like, I just oh. met her, right? So obviously I'm like checking to see where she's at. And at the same time, it's like, yo, yo, I'm seeing traits where she's like different in terms of like, okay, she's not thinking like most Miami girls. That being said, I don't know the full, I mean, trajectory. Like she's just, she just got here. So it's like, we're vibing right now. What does it mean that she's different than not thinking like a Miami girl? I yes. just pointed you out I know, like, someone. Okay. Like, e- e- explain that. Because I've heard you say, yeah. you know, like, it's, she came on my podcast. You say, hey, listen, women, especially down here, they're going to be attracted to certain things, This blah, 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 blah. Yeah. What does it mean to be different from a Miami girl? Explain that difference. Okay. So, for example, right? She's not into, like, designer. Yeah. That exception, going crazy like exception oh i need to have this and that it's more like talk she wants a good time with me right and then secondly it's like for example what miami girls are huh generally miami. No, some are not not obviously not Uh-oh. every single girl but some are but i like we're talking some. about just majority yeah just okay yeah so 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 it's kind of, it's kind of like by the way by the way uh-huh. myron just because i want to be fair <laughs> this nigga bro no no you're allowed to be his lawyer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, 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 I don't want this to be a mistrial because they said he ain't had a public defender. He ain't had Johnny Cogger with him. Johnny he ain't Cogger. had the nigga who listen, had Bill Cosby get out of jail. Listen, 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 you could hop in at any time because this guy seems... You guys, you guys go. Uh, you, you guys go like one, one round, two rounds, maybe, and then, and then we'll. Uh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, I, I know like y'all want to do this. We got six thousand plus. You guys in here. Like, <laughs> like the goddamn video right now. Like it. Like the video. So, so, so you're accusing me of being hypocrite and being delusional, right? So I want to know where in this whole like scenario here. No, I'm not. 
Well, we're in a scenario, right? <laughs> Do you see me being hypocritical in regards to like just dating her? No, no. I, you're being hypocritical because mm-hmm. if everything that I've seen this podcast preach mm-hmm. that you're a part of, mm-hmm. when I've seen your actions with her, mm-hmm. you're acting like, and I've seen y'all silence a lot of women here mm-hmm. by saying, you're just the exception. We're talking about the rule. Mm-hmm. You are willing to basically say, hey, fuck the rule. She's the exception. Wait, okay. Where they- and, and that's what I'm saying. Um, the exception to the rule. Now, he's going to explain himself, but Overall, that's what you're saying. You're saying like, well, she's not like this. And you only known her a month. So she can just be playing a role. That's how I'm looking at it. And that's probably how DJ is, uh, academics looking at it. Like, she's playing a role. She's not as innocent as she claiming to be. And I think she just, you know, I think she's trying to play the brother. He just need to be, you know, be a little more strategic in his shit. That's all. Say that. I'm saying... That she is showing certain traits right now. Why do you think she she's interested in you? Ask her. I was gonna say, can I answer this? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like the first March. day that I met you, having that genuine conversation on the boat, like on a yacht. I, oh, on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> was it sixty foot long? Was it eighty five foot? I oh, couldn't shit. even tell you. So, so Clouder. you're telling me that the conversation the that you had with him there, if he cold approached you, right? While you were online about to get into, I don't know if you go to Club Live or whatever, any spot out here, you was, you, you was about to get some, I don't know, some fucking yogurt, and he cold approached you. If he had the same yogurt. conversation that he had with you on the boat in fucking beautiful Miami, I've been on a, I've been on a yacht with this nigga. I was like, damn, I can understand why this is a flex. If he had the same conversation with you, you're like, no, this is my guy. Uh, see, I. The way she was looking, I don't think she understood when he met that cold approach. For those that don't know, that's when you just walk up on someone and shoot your game to them. And you don't have the boat, the cars, and all this. You just see them one-on-one, walk up on them, and shit. Like they said back in the day, you spit your gift. All right, let's roll. I'm a very big personality person. So if he came up to me and he just came and was like, hey, let me get your number. That's a no from me. The fact that he invited me, and he's been, in, he invited me out before. Yeah. And it was just the fact that me and my roommate I were sitting at home. Yacht. No, me and my roommate were sitting <laughs> at home, yep. and I was like, wow, yeah, what are we exactly. going to do tonight? And then, like, at that moment, he texted me. He was Z like, hey, do you ride guys... with scooters or get on the yacht? Let's talk about it. And he's right. I'm not a materialistic person at all. I could be if I wanted to. I don't care about that shit. Like, my dream car is a fucking Honda Civic. Like, I don't. There's nothing about me materialistic. Being on a yacht is not... I wasn't like, oh my God, like he's inviting us to a yacht. Like, I'm so excited. So what about I've the been on a yacht before. I've had people try to hit on me. It's not about the yacht. Well, okay, what about the conversation? What did he say? We want to learn because I'm, I'm like one like of the people... It was like a genuine, like, I want to get to know you thing. I think we both had yeah. a physical attraction to each other at that point. And it wasn't like, hey, like, I want to get to know you to fuck. It felt super genuine and... We just had a really good time. We talked up there for like an hour and a half before yeah. we got interrupted. We probably could have talked the entire way back and forth. Like, I, I think what your problem is that, like, wait, 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 wait. You, said, hold on, hold on. you said he invited you out before. Why you didn't go before? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was always hold busy or like I was pretty new. Yacht, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was living. Right? Hold on, wait, wait. No, wait, I'm wait, not wait, living wait, wait, wait. though. Right. He didn't invite you on the damn yacht. And she never really came out and said, what is it about him? She kind of talked around it and might. Yeah, at the end of it, but what brought you to why you even started the conversation with him? What what was the thing? And she never really explained it. She kind of just got started saying a lot of shit. So, uh, let's see. Fresh come to a rescue. Let's see what he say. Ah, 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 ah. No, I'm, just, I'm ah, trying to see. Ah. You see what your problem is? You think that because I have clout, everyone wants me for clout. However, for you, that's that's true. For me, it's not. I actually have game, bro, right? That being said, hold on. That being said, right, bro? Not game. Your experience, right, with girls is tainted because you want to see the club. Clown that. Versus, versus here. <laughs> tell you the truth, bro. Oh. Look, it's the truth, right? So, so for need, you, it's we like. We need uh, evidence to substantiate your claims. Yeah, big man had to jump in on it, Mike. Could, could, uh, Mike. I'm going to say this. I got to say this, bro. <laughs> First of all, if you have clout, if you have access to a boat, fuck it. 
it's part of who you are. It yeah. is. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't look at that as like, oh, I need to use. Yeah, fuck it. I'm using this too for my power. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My power of attraction. See, I like how how he put that. You have all that shit. That's you. You fuck it. That's who I am. That's what I do. That's what I got. Don't say like, well, she didn't get with me because I have clout. And that's what she looks at. That's like, say she look at a bum ass dude and, oh, I want to be with him. No, she look at this dude that driving a nice car. You got access to fucking yachts, living in this nice penthouse and doing all this other shit. That's attractive to a, to a, to a woman. I mean, so I'm, I'm with, with Mike here, big dude shit. Fuck that, use it, man. That's what men do, even in, in, the, in the wild. Like, mm -hmm. uh, male birds do crazy, crazy exotic dances and shit and displays for women. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rams fight each other. Lions fight each other. That's what we do. Fuck it. We buy nice watches and rings and jewelry. Let's go find another one. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see, wish I could get the little... I see, I see some water on the other hand. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying we do things mm -hmm. that other men can't do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To attract a, a, a potential mate. Female. I don't see anything wrong with that Nothing. shit. Me either. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's cool with acknowledging that shit. Yeah, fuck it. If if I'm on a boat and, or I have access to a boat and I want to get to know somebody, I'm going to invite her on a boat too. Yeah. Mike, but see, but see, I, don't know, Mike, I, think, I think you're touching on a point that I, that I was trying to make. But, but see, and I think no, but that's, that's where... a horrible point about exactly. you made a point about the chain and that I would see the chain in the watch and be like, he's rich. You know how many broke people I see with chains and watches and nice cars? They could be the brokest motherfuckers mm -hmm. I've ever met. You like, even said on your podcast, yo, you got a chain and a watch. You could be a scammer or you could be broke. Yo. You even said on like, your podcast. I used to work here so doing bottle service yo, no, no. at the strip club yeah, and the girls yeah, would yeah. pass on so everyone that, that looked broke. And I would up. take them as a client. Just, you... They would make no money and I would make money because I didn't judge somebody off the way that they look. Yo, and fresh. This is so one of the biggest things shit, I feel like though. you keep making I'm like, no way. I mean, she must have a banging body I feel like you're judging sincerely. I don't know. She just don't. I don't know. Maybe like that she's little, that timid, quiet type shit. I don't know. But sound like she might be boring as shit. Uh. Ready on what you think she's passed up? You know what I mean? Huh. For any woman I've encountered that's fucked with me, mm -hmm. like I've seen women who I fucked with, be like, oh, Sway Lee hit me up, Young Thug hit me up, Rest in Peace X X and Tentacion hit me up. Mm -hmm. It not because you're not like maybe celebrity wise or rich wise bigger than them means because they didn't fuck with those people for whatever reason mm -hmm. they're with you for you that's not the case my brother and i i feel like you're using that to be like well well i know a lot of people who's more lit has hit her up blah blah i'm just trying to say that for what you're preaching mm -hmm. it's all about what you're preaching my dog yeah. hold on no but when Here, no no turn into them here's the point really here's the point so what am I preaching that's gonna be uh, delusional or not true? Tell me. Yeah. You okay. still you still haven't told me. Okay. I'm still waiting. I feel like if you didn't like her, yeah. if you didn't love her, or whatever the case is, I don't know if you do. Mm -hmm. If there was a normal girl like her that came on this podcast, mm -hmm. and that girl said, "Hey, I'm dating a high value man." Uh. Yeah. So. I cut it a little short here, but let's see. I think I got some more on this. Let's check this out. She's been here how long? Five months. Five months. And if that girl said the guy that they're now fucking with, they know for a month, mm -hmm. what would you tell that person that you don't like? Yeah. So that's that's all I'm saying. So so look. So, yeah, look, so the look. only thing the, the, the so reason look. why Myron can't even be your, your, your defense attorney right now. Cause Myron, he he gotta live what he preached. All I'm just saying is that no, no, no. I let y'all. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. He's letting us talk, so don't don't play that game, right? So this I is this, this is you. No, Myron could hop in too. This might got you on the rope, right? Because you're thinking that like, okay, just because she's a regular girl on the show, I won't say there's an exception to the rule. That being said, her situation, bro, like, isn't normal. Most girls that come to Miami, they're already in the environment and they get fucked up. All right, that, she's new to Miami. Huh? She's new to Miami as well. Is she just like her? I don't know. But what does it matter? My, does but look, her? my first response, <laughs> no, my first response is going to be, you know what? She's capping. I don't know all the details here, but for the most part, she's probably capping. That being said, there may be girls that are in that environment that may not be the same. I'm just saying that, like, I actually met her. I spoke to her for an hour plus. I got to see her a little bit. You know what? 
Damn. This is a five. fucking hour, my nigga. I yes. talk on a podcast. <laughs> no, no, no. To women no, no. for no, no. hours at a time, brother. No, no, no. An hour on the boat. An hour on the boat. I got to see what her mind was at. She's a and, fucking yacht. Hold on. Then we were on it's multiple, hypnotizing, dog. Multiple dates. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, see, see. Yeah, he's multiple like, I can see yeah, certain things. You, you know what? glamorized cool. her. I want to get to know her a little bit better. I never said, oh, she's the one. Da, da, da. Nigga. No, you said she's different from everyone else. She's because she, she is talked different. Different. Because, because she most talked to you an hour and a year. And I think what Academic's trying to point out is when you making her stand out like she's better than all these other women and that's what you're doing and she's sitting there feeling oh yeah i'm better than you bees out here you know and that's what he's saying you pointing out that she is so much better than all these other women but you only known her at the time for an hour and only been kicking it with her for a month so how do you figure they might be she might be better just because her mentality might not be like theirs but is her intentions the same and that's the fucking question so maybe they'll get around to it. Let's see. Yeah, and went on a couple of dates with you afterwards. Nigga, that just seems glaringly nigga. And she's not hypocritical. I understand, right? From bro? what I used to hear from Rush and Fit. We y'all be giving the game. No. I love like, No, no. Yo, by the way. Yo, we yo, say, no, 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 no. I see what we're doing here. I see what we doing here. Don't I say this to you? Regular dudes yeah. listen to y'all and play y'all in the car that yeah. their girl could hear game. So when they see half of the podcast mm-hmm. maybe slipping. How it's much, not my job. How much, I'm how much slipping? How much slipping? Because you're not you're not giving the same advice, or you're not having the same mentality about your situation like you would tell somebody else. Yes, I am. I, how? This is where how this is where you messed up because you think right that like just because I'm chilling with her that I'm not seeing anybody else. Or for example, that her her situation is like. Every other girl. Don't do it. Right. Don't do it first. Don't do it first. Oh, All right. No, let's do it. No, let's do it. And then let me ask you right. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So, I've heard this before on You're the right. Friendship right. Podcast. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've heard this on the Friendship Podcast. I'm, I'm not done. A high valued man, uh-huh. you know, by the way, high value men are rare. Okay. Are we going to be in agreement? Anybody else okay. want to say otherwise in here? But okay. I'm sure okay. she's a high valued woman. Okay. What? Well, Mm, hold on. There's no such, no thing, such thing. thing. Just nah, shut nah, your nah, nah, ass up. Hold on. All right, so, next question. Yeah. so if you said to her, mm-hmm. right, hey, this is, will you, would the shit I've heard y'all say about high value men and high value women, yeah. would you say to her, like, baby, you might have to share me because I'm a high value man, which is rare. <laughs> and are you willing to share? Let, let's hear her first. Hold on, hold on. You see, this you is where you, you fucked up because Why? you don't watch the show. I said multiple times, if I choose, right, right to be with one girl, I've had fucked many girls, right, bro? If I choose a chance to say, you know what? I like her. I can do that. Because right. guess what? I've better girls. I've seen what I've had. I've had multiple options. I can do it. That's why you don't watch podcasts, bro. I don't know. I don't so, know. So, no, no, you no. Know, you know, you're judging me based off what you hear Myron say, not what I say. I say so I'm on the same page. No, we are. But I just now choose to be ego. with one person if I want like, to. No, I'm not simp now. I'm, I'm, I don't. I'm so, hitting. So, 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 this is why when, when, when you make assumptions on. about people. No, no, no. No, it's not what? even about assumptions. It is. So, it really so, is, bro. So, in, in your rhetoric, then, uh-huh. you should let dudes know, mm-hmm. hey, not all not all high-valued men should be giving their woman the ultimatum that because We do! Bro, he we does. do! So we always does. do! She watches he the does. show! Okay. See, you're assuming, right? Okay. That just because, just because you think that we say one thing is on the rule. We say, look, some guys, majority of guys are going to want that type of lifestyle, but some don't. We, 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 we put that in there. But our show is very radical, right? I get it. It's very strong point, one, one point of view. So you're thinking, oh, that's all it really is. Bro, we say it all the time. Look, if you're a high value man, you have a choice to make. You want, you want, you want multiple chicks? You can, because you earned it. You deserve it. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. And some guys out there, they got hella money, but they want one girl. Jeff Bezos, one girl. You feel me? Like, it's just a choice. Hold on, what do you want? Huh? I, I, I said it. I just said it. If I decide to settle down, it's gonna be with one girl. One girl. That being said, will I marry again? Hell no. They want kids? Hell no. Okay. But in my in my RP lens, I'm gonna go with this girl because I chose to say, you know what? I don't want to stress with other girls. I already been doing that shit. Fight four girls, bro, is a headache, bro. I already did that yes. shit, right? If it's just one girl, because I want to be with her. That being said, I'm talking to her right now, seeing what the vibe is, and if I like her, maybe in the future. Maybe something. If not, then it is what it is. But I'm not saying that she's an angel. Okay, so, so you're saying for you. I can see where the confusion comes in because the show is strong and and it comes off as 
you know, they don't they don't get caught up in relationship type shit. They want to see a bunch of women and all this. But Fresh is saying that he mm, does he prefer one? And when his partner, his partner's like he want multiple, but I can see where, like, like, like academics saying where it can be confusing or what you guys are preaching because you got one saying, don't do this, get as many women as you want. If you got loot, and then you have one saying, well, if you got loot, it's okay to settle down and just be with one chick. So it's like you said, got fire and water and the shit is not it's not coming together because now we're just making a bunch of damn smoke you see what i'm saying so let's see if they can break this down a little better um uh i don't know i don't know let's see maybe he's he's yeah he's i'm, the, I'm the, the crazy one i'm yeah, the one that okay. says okay. Hey, guys share me. Okay, look, i'm the one that says that. you just want one girl right bro to be I fair, guess. we've talked about it before. Yeah. He's made that a point like a hundred okay. times. Yes. Different, different and even episodes. I've heard that on the podcast. Like, but to be fair, we shit. have talked about... Yeah. Are you willing to share him? No. Uh, we've talked about... With that first impression, when he said it, are you willing to share? And let's see if we can see it again. No. Uh, we've talked... Yeah, I see it. I she like... Yeah, you talk, but you don't want to share. Let's be real. Talked about no, whether is that about yes, no. we, we have talked about, have talked about, about whether because I'm super picky. Like I think girls are hot, but I would be super okay. picky if there are would be. Are you willing to be in a pot? You, you, can we zoom into <laughs> long, so, long story short? Yes, but there would have to be like a conversation beforehand, well, yeah. well, which well, we've well, already, well, which well, we've well, already, well, 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 we've well, already mutually well, agreed well, to that. Morning. It was different earlier. No, I See that? I knew it. See, she's trying to go with the flow. Now she realized, oh, shit, these dudes are into, like, multiple women. So let me reverse my shit a little bit to, so I can still stay in this boy's good. Great watch, boy. This man's good gracious. Ah, so, see, I told you she's trying to be slick. And Fresh need to be listening to this chick because he's not catching it because he's too focused on academics. But she's trying to stay in the loop like, oh, okay, now nah, I'm keep the interest. Yeah, I'm kind of open to it, but nah, because you already said it earlier that you're not into all that shit. So you can't flip it now. Oh, it was different earlier. Wait, 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 we gotta be honest. We gotta be honest. We we gotta be honest. Say, hold on. I got you said no. Hold on. No, no, no. You hold said on. you were and not. And then I said, it. and then I said, we've already talked about this. We mutually agreed. If yep. we went to a club or something, or he found no, someone, no, 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 not a threesome. For you to be in a polyamorous relationship. I said, no. is that personally for me? No, but I'm very open-minded. If there was somebody that we had found. I it ain't for you. Am Mike. I? Am I ha, look at Mike. Uh, look at this expression. If there was somebody that we had found. <laughs> he knows this chick lying her ass off. Come on. Come on. You trying to play the fucking game. You're trying to cater to his fucking ego. What's what's the deal? Like, you're the same as all these other motherfuckers. You're just from somewhere else. That's all. Am I, am I totally against it? No, absolutely not. But physically, is that for me? I don't think so, but I'm not, I'm not going right, to be so close-minded about it. Let me hop in. Let me hop in. Yeah. Let me hop in. I think I've been waiting for him to say something about this shit. So let's check Micah. Initially, because listen, every girl says, no, I'm not with that, right? right. Really. When I hear I'm that, I'm like, you know, okay, you're supposed to say that, right? I'm <laughs> but, you know, she just, it was the shock of hearing it, I think. You know what I'm saying? She never processed it. And sitting there thinking about it, letting it set in, like, when, the way we framed it was like, okay, you have a high-value man. Mm -hmm. This man is, there's not a lot of the guys like this, right? He's rare. Are you willing to share him, right? First, no. It's a reaction, Why? right? She's not going to admit that she, she said that. Why? I know, I know, but she said it. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's okay. But I'm giving her an out. Yes, I did I'm say no out. immediately. See, I knew, see, now she's sitting here to conversation and she's like, oh, shit, I need to fix this ASAP. And that's what she's trying to do now. Like I say, damage control. She's trying to fix this shit. But my man Mike caught it. DJ Academics, he also caught it. And that's why he threw that question at her. 
And I want to clarify because what you talked to first. Was a you was a no, but in between like my past ex and him, I always felt like I was never gonna be in a relationship. I was never gonna fuck with one dude at a time, and it was always gonna be like you got hoes. So not over, even that, but like I enjoy fucking with one person at a time, but it's never, there's never been that person to come along and be like, oh, I only want to fuck with you. I knew pretty quickly that like I haven't been with anyone <laughs> since him and I knew pretty quickly that like I only fucked with him because we just have a great time together. Like, so no, now no, I don't, well, I'm in a mind space where I don't care about being with anyone else. No, no, no disrespect. <laughs> it's not even about you. No disrespect. It's about knowing that you're with a guy who Yeah, we've talked asked, about it. Okay, so we talked about it. How do you feel about if he's like, yo, hey, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, I do like you and I fuck with you, but I also like her and if, that, if it comes to that, then we can have a conversation about it for sure. And I'm down to hear but that see, kind of story. I'm not I'm not closed minded about that. But see, you know, it's funny. But I, right now I, I we're on the just, same page. She just needed time to process it, bro. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, but no, but no. And, 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 and honestly, yeah, and, and, I'm and another so thing. I'm so glad Mike because Mike heard thing, this whole conversation. I, heard it, okay. I, heard I did. But, but, I admit. I but said I understand no. I understand it because I hear this shit all the time, right? And I got to be honest. Like, they see how, like, I treat my woman, right? And so many girls be hopping in the DM, even when we out approaching you know what i'm saying yeah and they all are with it right mm -hmm. and even like if i'm interested in someone and i tell my girl like i kind of like her you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and i'll be chopping it up and they are initially say no i wouldn't share mm -hmm. but the conversation keep going while you get while you still talking to me you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then yeah. you know you see that you know what everything cute you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and the shit just keep mm -hmm. progressing so I, I feel like of course initially you've never done it you never tried it you never even thought about it the first reaction is a no Right, yeah. I give you that. I give you that. But of course, I know human nature. And I know, like you know, you're thinking about it, letting it set in. And here's the reality: most girls get cheated on by every dude. Right? Exactly. It's not. It's yeah. not because yeah. we're just fucking evil. Like men are just evil. It's because people can't be honest with themselves. Mm -hmm. Dudes are afraid to say like, you know, I like variety here and there. They're afraid mm -hmm. to say that shit because girls be like, no, fuck that. You gotta fuck me for the rest of your life. Yeah. It's only me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I and know that's a weird thing. This is weird. I have Hold a question on. for you though. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Why, why do you okay? Mm -hmm. So again, I'm listening to the I'm listening, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm listening to the podcast. Okay. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm. you know, I hear certain things and certain theories, but which by the way, I oh, I believe. And I know when yo, this nigga, I'm I'm listen, I don't know if this is there's a bigger nod for me to give. Mm -hmm. This nigga is kicking facts. Fuck your feelings. I like it. Yeah. But it's rare to be like this. When you're like no, this, very, very, I lose a lot of girls with my. Uh... When you're like this, you can't move certain type of ways. Yeah. You got to sacrifice maybe even some just emotional shit. I've lost a lot of bucks. Now, <laughs> I admit this. Here, here what I'm asking you. My views. I lost a lot of bucks. You know what? Here what I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah. From what I'm hearing, mm -hmm. your view doesn't necessarily line up with Mars' view. It doesn't. No, we we think differently. That being said, the that's foundation okay. is still still the same. And and that's the thing when y'all when you're pushing your show, it's and like I say like I say it's coming off that you do think the same. And I'm still fairly new to fresh and fit, so I'm a you know I'm not gonna be too on him about. I'm be optimistic about the whole situation. And uh, like I say, I've definitely watched them a little more, especially if they have content like this. I usually see they throwing chicks off and some you know some false bitches be on there talking about their businesses and like somebody really give a fuck so i don't really tune in too much but when they have like special guests like this like dj academics um and mike rasheed i'm you know i'm gonna have to check him out because i'm just starting to know him so you know when you got like me people like myself just chime in every once in a while you get that impression that you guys are on another level but now I'm seeing you on one level and you on a totally different level. So I wonder how it's going to go after this, like the questions. I know they got their fan base, like love them to death and see no wrong. But this is more of a conversation of how you look at this whole situation here. All right. So let's spin. So think about this, right? <laughs> what the fuck? And hold on. And, and also, then I want to ask her what she brings to the table. No, no. So because so, that's, uh, that's, so, that's the age old so, question, right? So. Here's the thing, right? We're in a space called the, the repo, right? RP. It oh, means shit. basically that you understand how women operate and you don't play into certain things to get finesse or lose what you work for your whole life. That being said, I've been in situations where I've been married, 
I've been, I've been with girls. I've had experience with a lot of girls where I can say, you know what? I can bet a girl very easily say, you know what? She's this type of way. Let me see where this goes. I'm not going to hide myself by saying, you know what? I'm going to trust her 100%. That being said, I met her. We talked for a little bit. Went on some dates. Okay, I can see where her head is at. In a month. I'm going to see where... No, no. I, I'm still vetting her. I'm going to see where it goes. She, we're, we're, we're on the same page. We talk all the time. That being said, you're saying that, oh, because first of dating her and, and talking to her, like, constant, you know, all the time, he's simping for her. I'm not. What I'm doing is... It's, it's not simping, by the way. Like, by so, the way, so, what are you the, saying then? The, the term of simping... Yeah. The term of simping is is not even a thing that I would even want to, uh, like, even attack or address. Yeah. I'm saying mm -hmm. I feel it goes against what I've th I've thought. Thoughts. Hold on. You're saying that you did not push this forward, but I've seen you sit by and be complicit while he did. Well, so now I ask you why you challenge it. Hold on. Because now I didn't want to ask what I'm you about. and her, what does she hold bring? On. Hold on. You're a high-value man. What does she bring to the table? Hold on. You watch the show, right? Certain parts. A lot of girls come on the platform all the time, right? He will speak, say something uh, that's his point. I'll say my point. That's how the show goes. Mm -hmm. So if I bring my point, that I think definitely from him in certain, certain cases. We're not the same people. We, we talk about general topics together. We debate certain things. Our RP base, our fans, are our supporters. They understand. Hey, you know what? This is, is it, this is an extreme here. It's an extreme here. You find where you fit in. I don't think they think you're different. No, they, they they definitely do. I'm not Myron, bro. No, 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 no. He, yeah, maybe, yeah, no, no. maybe not to his extent. Listen, bro, I don't bro, think. Bro, hold bro, on, bro, 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 bro. You, 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 you understand, right? Mm -hmm. uh, right, uh, academics. Myron's Myron. I'm fresh. Mm -hmm. We, I party. I network. I go. I, I get lit. Fresh. You're the main nigga who asks every girl every time they get here. When questions get kicked off, yep. I see you say, "Hey, I got a question. What? Uh, how old are y'all? What's your body count? What you bring to the table? <laughs> you tell me what she brings to the table." Sure. Right. Now he does do that. So I am curious, what does she bring that interests him? And that's and I oh, I just gotta see. I, I gotta see what the hell she said. And a lot of women don't think about that. They start like, well, I can cook, I can clean, like dudes that at that level, they could pay somebody to do that shit. Let's just be real. If shit, if I had that money. I would never cook anything. I would have a fucking personal chef because I prep meals and all that shit, and I hate cooking like that. So I need somebody to do all that shit. I wouldn't fuck that, man. She'd be. Psh, I wouldn't need you for that. And or or let me. Can I ask her? Chris asked the body count. <laughs> yeah, can, 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 can you bring to the table <laughs> for this nigga? Oh my god. Um, I just want to say beforehand everyone keeps bringing up a high value man and genuinely i did not know what he did before i met him it was my roommate that had actually been on the podcast and when we when he invited me i was she was like oh who is it and i like show your instagram page i'm literally thinking nothing of this i honestly didn't even think that there was gonna i think he just needed girls for the yacht i'm like okay whatever we'll just go i had no idea what he did i had didn't look at his instagram i didn't stalk I'm his instagram and she was like, oh, wait, I've actually been on their podcast. And I was like, okay, didn't even know what they did. And when we were on the yacht, he was like, okay, so I, I'm a podcaster. I'm like, honestly, and I don't even want to watch it because I want to get to know the real you. I don't yeah, want to get to know you from your podcast. Like, okay, That's some bullshit. That's some BS. There's no freaking way in this day and time. This dude, you met this dude. He's talking to you. You get off the phone. You ain't never noticed anything about his end. You ain't looked him up uh, or anything. Hadn't looked him up. And then your roommate says, oh, yeah, we was on his podcast. You saying you still didn't look him up. You didn't go to his Instagram. I, shit, I haven't been on his Instagram, but I'm going to check and see. I'm pretty sure he has in there. I mean, because this is their damn brand right here. There's no freaking way. You didn't know what this damn man did. There's no way. A man said inviting you on a yacht. You didn't look to see what the fuck he does for a living. Bullshit. I'm called bullshit on this one. No, no, no. I challenge all his fans. Am I right about this part or what? I call bullshit. She knew about him. Because this day and time... Soon as someone tell you their name, the first fucking thing they do is go to their social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. First three they check off the bat. 
Then they look into all the other shit. But those three are the first they check. Can I ask a question? Can I ask you? So, so you're so you're essentially basically proving what they say is wrong in terms of you don't give a fuck about a high value man, right? I don't. That's no, what, like that's you don't. No. So, I so mean, his living funny. example does not give a fuck about what he's talking about. I funny. care that he has a personality and I can be around. But him you don't care if he's a high myself. value man. No, I really don't. I did not care about his chain. I did not care about his watch. No, no, I don't care that no, no, we no, met no. on that's you. That's not high because, value, though. That's yeah. not what he's talking about. <laughs> you don't. You're. you're She's fairly new to this game, but she's trying to get in this game. You know what I'm saying? The shit she says, like, like it's, she's trying to learn. See, all these women don't been through that. Look at this one over here. Like, she like she been run through. Not the black girl, the girl beside her with the tattoos. She look old as shit and run down and terrible makeup. But, see, they know. This girl new coming into this game. And she trying to learn it. But nah, baby girl, go home. Go home. You're, you're, but she don't even know I mean, what it means, bro. See, you're you're surrounded in certain wait, wait, let's ask her, what do what do what do you think it means when one says a high value man? Like somebody that everyone everyone wants because they think that they have something. They but what's high value money. to you? What's a per, uh, a person of value to you? What does that mean? To me, yeah. A person of high value is somebody that I can be around and genuinely have a good time with and want to see over and over again and one person someone one. fun someone that i can get along with right like, one it's person are you, with and that's not person. high are value you concerned with all right the relationship progressing or what if i get pregnant or mike mike yo why this why is even a, I mean, that's, that's, that's mike, a possibility mike, this is even a bigger question exactly and she's sitting there uh uh right that's the possibility shit can happen why are you having fucking fun? Which I want to ask. Mm. If the if your girl or the girl you're fucking with mm -hmm. doesn't care about the theories that you're preaching, doesn't it let you adjust your theories? No, you're it, talking it, about even better. Look, even look, better. Look, no, no. You're preaching about high valued men uh -huh. to a bunch of men who think they need to be high valued. Mm -hmm. Yet the girl that you are fucking with doesn't care about that it's a maybe that should okay, tell but you i also don't want a bum who has no motivation and doesn't have a job and lays on his ass all day so you want okay. a valuable person hold on i want someone hold who on. wants to do successful. well for themselves hold on i got and you i got, I got you, you can know, be no, successful no 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 this goes so back to wonder. what hold on i got you right so you're saying basically that she has to follow every single dynamic you see on the show guys just so you know on the show there are exceptions to the rule there's not 100 percent any is she exception Nigga, no. she just told you she's not into high high value people in terms of no, that, that's an issue. Listen, in terms of materialism, hold on, slow jams. See, chime he, in here because he, you've been on the yeah. show times. Please chime in. Okay, so what I want to say is so far, <laughs> what Fresh and Myron talk about most of the time be whores. Exactly, whores. Oh, so only talking about We're not talking about. Nigga. They don't only talk about whores. We about, speak in generalities because it's a broad audience. Yes, Miami is full of whores, but I. So but you don't know what this girl's been doing. Y'all just don't know. She could be a whore herself in Philadelphia or wherever the hell, Jersey, wherever the fuck she lives. Just because she done made her way there and playing the good girl, she could have been dropping them damn panties anywhere. That's, let's not forget that now. She ran across his ass and came out within, shit, days. Who else she done flew out to? Yeah, I'm, talking about my I'm just trying to figure out no, who this y'all talking about. No. no. Obviously, the person that you're interested in would not line up to be a whore. Like, if you're on yeah, the podcast yeah. talking about all these things, of course, you're going to scout around and figure out. The only thing I'm fucked up about is that the majority of people who watch a podcast is not in Miami. We know that. Are you I from Miami? That's still going to be whores in Wisconsin. Miami? It's not so far. In, Austra in Australia, it's not like Miami. It's not in, like it. In Wisconsin, it's not like Miami. In LA, it's not Miami. I'm from Jersey. It's not like Miami. But there's a concept that they have that follows. Australia don't no fucking Miami. Fuck she talks about it. in different areas. Okay, yeah. if you see a girl talking so, about so, so, why don't you then group the people you're talking about as nigga about whores? We you do. do. <laughs> you don't watch the show, bro. No, you don't. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, you don't. No, um, she's yeah, she's yeah, here. Yeah. Hold on, no, no, no. So y'all no, talking no, no. about women, not no, whores? You don't watch the show. Uh, yeah. This, this point, no, you don't watch the show. She's been here multiple times. We say A, B, C, D. You were saying only A. You don't watch the show. I see, and that's why I gotta be biased about. um what's going on because I haven't watched enough of their content. So 
I'm purely watching this for entertainment because I loved what they did with this show. But definitely be keying in on more of their stuff. You, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm Your argument is you. invalid. Hold on, no. it's invalid. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, we done. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to show. You don't I, I listen to you and you say what? You don't I don't hear you say horse. I nigga. don't hear you. Nigga. Nigga. Well, actually, oh. fresh. <laughs> Go ahead, find man. some shit that I said. Like I'm not surprised that he's with. Like the, what he's saying right now. If you go on my page, you actually hear him. Sorry, Myron. Not Myron. Co-sign it of. I pretty much said the same thing. I like genuine connections and started things Bro, from. Uh, that's no. the whole so, point of so everything. Yes. We'll, we'll do yeah, the last, so. uh, we'll do the last uh, arguments and then we'll wrap it up and then get into the topic uh, for tonight. So, uh, Myron, and I, guys, there's almost, there's over 9,000 you guys watching. Do me a quick favor and like the like goddamn video. video. Sub the channel. Because I'll tell you guys this. <laughs> these niggas argue about this shit every day. Oh, uh, Lord. And, and I'm just like, God I'm damn it. And I'm always in the middle of it. <laughs> so now y'all actually get to be alongside and see how this thing goes. Because they be on FaceTime doing this shit every day. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Myron, no friends, man. Myron. Yeah, go ahead. Please close it out. What are your thoughts? And then uh, your thoughts, and then Mike's thoughts, and then my thoughts. Uh, I see where Ak is coming from. I see where you're coming from. I mean, we're we're just very different, you know. I mean, I, I'll be very honest. I'm not gonna lie. Like a lot of, I'm I'm a little polarizing. You know, I've said it before. If a girl deals with me, bitch, you got to share me with others because I didn't work this. <laughs> you know, like I didn't work this hard to like yeah. get one one girl. Like that's yeah. fucking dumb. And I've said it many that's times true. on a podcast. Like mm-hmm. once you rise to a certain level, make a certain amount of money, you reach a certain status. Like Mike, can I ask a question? It's dumb to share a girl. I'm sorry, I have one girl. <laughs> she got to share you. Go ahead. Mike, she she you. Like no disrespect, but you're you're, you're the lead voice of this podcast, a lot of people who are subscribing to the things you're teaching them feel that this is the thought. They're not thinking that there's opposing views and they're not thinking it's like that. And if and if, 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 if you're willing to say, hey, listen, that's just me, cool, but you should say it. Yeah. Because what's happening... He does. Yeah, many does. times. Yeah. Hey, this is my opinion, not the other people's opinion. Oh, no, no, no. But... but, but it, the platform <laughs> is both you guys. Nigga, he speaks, I speak. Yeah. They they chime in. Nigga, th- people know this. Yeah. I have my opinions on how I think so, things are. He does as well. All right, hold on. You watch the show so only what, watch hold on. what, no, no. what he says. So for the record, you don't believe in terms of what he says and how you're living your life is how you believe. Well, first off, right? You're saying because this this uh right here is only what I believe in. I'm saying, look, we understand the foundation. It's an example of what you believe in. Nigga. Do you watch the show? <laughs> yeah, I do. Look, 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 no, you look. Don't. look, look. This no. is what it is. This is what it is. No, this is what it is. We, we, we both have a fundamental knowledge and we see the world through the same lens. We just choose to react to the lens differently. So I look at it like, girls got to share me. I'm not having one chick. That's dumb, in my opinion. <laughs> First, I said multiple times, you know, hey, uh, if I find a girl, I'm down to have just one. But but me, I've always said it like I'm gonna have multiple girls. Hold on. So, so that's what s- it is. Since he's not gonna answer me, I get on my my arm. Oh shit. Right, I love you. Yeah, it's okay. No, okay, no, no, no. But so 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 you're telling me when I'm watching, and I to keep telling you, I watch you every time I'm eating lunch. I love watching you. I watch you too. Right. Pause. So <laughs> when you really well, we have a group of women around here, right? <laughs> yeah. And, and and I'm I'm saying this maybe for the next chick that comes on and says, hey, listen. I'm fucking new to Miami or I'm whatever, whatever. And I'm with some guy that just like, you know, I know how you compute shit. It doesn't make sense. But I listen, we're just kind of in it together. You're not going to be putting on 20 hats. You're not going to be playing a bunch of sound effects. You're going to be like, no, it's just like how my nigga Fresh is with Shorty. And you're going to keep it 100. Because what y'all are saying right now is that the shit that I see consistently and there are certain themes, and if niggas can sit in this chat and be like, there's not themes that come through the Fresh and Fifth podcast, just like if I was watching Kevin Samuels or anybody else, there's themes that go, that that's re- that like, it's basically echoed constantly. If you are down to say that this does not contradict it, I don't want you to be shaming no other women on here when they come in here and say, hey, I'm 23, I'm with some nigga who's making mad money, he's on the incline of his career, but we got a connection. Don't say they are gold diggers, don't be sarcastic to them, let's keep it 100. I, I like to keep it 100. I get it. You understand what I mean? I get what you're saying. Because I, don't. I see it all the time, I and either. I call Cap uh, Lucha. When my eyes call Cap, nigga, I'm on my computer, I slap my mouse. <laughs> That's Cap. <laughs> you know why? Hey, right, I understand exactly what he's saying. Is you making her an exception to the policy? 
when other girls come on and says they're just kicking it with a dude, they feeling them, they trying to feel each other out. Y'all go hard on them. But your boy has come in and is trying to reverse. He's saying he's trying to feel her out. And they kicking it. And like she said, she hadn't been with no one but him since they've been kicking it. So she's catching feelings. I don't know where he's at, but she's definitely catching feelings. And he might have a little because he brought her on here all cuffed up with her. So Sean, like they might be a fucking couple. So it's a little contradicting. Definitely confusing for the audience, you know. But I mean, that's what the show is about. So there goes angry face over here. Know what the fuck her problem is. But I guess nobody want to talk to her, so she's upset. And that one. But we'll get to that one later. I'm here. <laughs> but you're telling me now. Because now I feel like I'm, I'm a listener misled. Y'all telling me now, yeah. oh, no. You just took the wrong thing from it. Maybe you just took Myron's point. But if it, if I took Myron's point, why don't y'all debate this shit? Y'all seem to provide a united front every time niggas is watching. Mm -hmm. Niggas ain't niggas is watching for basically an ideology. All right, you haven't answered the question. Where? Okay, so I moved this up a little bit because they just kind of got into a little that 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 to that tat tat, and I didn't want to, you know, just it got a little boring. So I moved it up a little further to get to a certain point, and uh, academic's gonna make another point. But oh, girl, gonna try to chime in and say some. Dumb shit again. So watch, watch, and watch, and watch the foolery. He's still betting her. Exactly. You don't and, watch the show, bro. And, uh, you don't watch the show. No, no. And, I'm going uh, off what he said. He said, "Act." I met her on a yacht, but I know she likes me for me. Yeah. If he didn't say that word, I'd be like, cool. If I didn't like him for him, I wouldn't have spent like every day with him for the past month. Said every girl who met a nigga on a yacht and who's with them after. Yeah. Like, come exactly. On. Like, come on. Uh, okay. No, you, okay. Okay, every girl here knows that you can only tolerate so much of some person. Like, okay, you might have millions of dollars. Like, I've seen people with millions of dollars. I don't want to spend every day have with them. Have you them. ever heard I'll, of Britney I'll, Renner? I'll, you I, Selena Powell? They've tolerated niggas for they've tolerated a lot worse a niggas for okay, a but, lot longer but time. Every day, oh, like disagree. every day they're yes. hanging out with him every second. No, no. My only you thing is for thirty I days. Okay, like it's a lifetime, and half that price been spent on the fucking phone. So, uh, so uh, you know, this is now you guys got to see what I deal with every day. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but between shows and everything else like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna give a round of applause to both parties here because that was. Very, uh, yes, cool, very tired. entertaining. We got 10,000 plus y'all niggas in here. I look. So do me a quick favor. I still like love, I love, video. I still I love, love. I Okay, man. This was <laughs> one of the best. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Went long enough with it. Way more than what I wanted to. Um, but I just couldn't stop it. So, appreciate the brothers. Fresh and fit. Uh, definitely DJ Academics. Always putting on a good one. And new brother, Mike Rashid. I'm going to have to check him out. And with that being said, what's up with Jay for Light TV? Appreciate you guys dropping in. Remember, subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell. Keep getting them. And I'm out of here. Peace. Have a good one, people.